Okay, uh, this week's video is on the uh, Maxi trial in Sicily, which took place between 1986 and the final appeals process was finished in 1992. Um, basically, it came about because of the Second Mafia, which was taking place in the early 80s on the island of Sicily and further afield in Italy and Europe. Um, a Mafia boss called Salvatore Rina was ruthlessly uh, murdering rivals, police officers, uh, and even... Even the chief anti-terror officer in Italy, uh, uh, one Carlo Alberto Dalla di Chiesa, who was a Carabinieri general who had helped uh, prosecute the Red Brigades um, for some of their terrorist acts during the years of lead, and he was gunned down in his car alongside his wife and driver. He was machine gunned. Hundreds of murders were happening, not only in Sicily, but also in, in southern Italy and further afield across the Atlantic in North America, which we'll get to at the end of the video. Uh, this led to the magistrates Giovanni Falcone and Paolo Borsellino uh, becoming the main prosecutors um, um, in Sicily and going on an anti-mafia drive alongside other key judges and officials. And um, eventually they were given a stroke of luck when uh, two informants, including Tommaso Buscetta, who was a rival of Salvatore Reno, was arrested in Brazil in 1982. Um, because of the Second Mafia War, he had lost many relatives and friends, including other mafia bosses. And uh, he decided fully to cooperate uh, with not only firstly the Brazilian um, authorities, who at the time was a military regime. And then when they worked out who he was, they uh, extradited him to Italy to, to face charges there. And he fully cooperated with the Italian authorities and gave up a lot of information. Um, we can discuss films like Goodfellas, Donnie Brasco and Black Mask um, later on, how the effects actually. In, in, and these are real, real stories that were put into film. But he, he started spilling the beans, as did uh, Salvatore Contorno, who was also another informant, another high up ranking mafia member. Also saw the writing on the wall. Had he stayed a free man, he would have probably been murdered by Salvatore Rina's thugs. Um, and they spilled the beans on a lot of things. So this led uh, magistrates Giovanni Falcone and Paolo Borsellino to then issue warrants through the local police. And let's just say this was the biggest trial ever known. Uh, it, it, it took six years to complete including two appeals processes and many um many many people put on trial 470 odd uh, defendants in the end it led to 360 convictions and 2665 years of sentencing including many life sentences um by the end of the trial salvatore arena had been captured it just took a very long time to capture him um these guys went and disappeared into protective custody. Some of them didn't live very long. Uh, there were a lot of informants. Um, a lot of the defendants decided to turn informant as well. Hence, what about 125 odd informants and defendants uh, didn't get found guilty for the various offences that they had committed um, during not only the Second Mafia War, but before then. Um, the effects were also felt not just across Europe, but across the Atlantic. Now, when I mentioned Goodfellas, Donnie Brasco and Black Mask, well, I've missed about Donnie Brasco because I'm an idiot. These films were actually based on real events that were happening in America at the time. Now, Black Mass is to do with Jamie, Jamie Whitey Bolger in the Boston Irish Mafia. Goodfellas and Donnie Brasco is to do with the Italian-American Mafia organisations on the east coast of the US. They had a big link to Salvatore Arena um, uh, in the heroin trade. And because of these informants, indictments were brought against uh, Henry Hill and others. Uh, so if you watch Goodfellas and Donnie Brasco was then put undercover... Uh, as, a, as a jewellery fence, uh, also to, you know, um, get into the murky world of the Italian-American mafia in, not just the Italian-American mafia, but all organised crime groups, but these were mostly Italian-based, with a few Irish in there. But because of these guys informing on uh, the Sicilian mafia, the link between the heroin trade between Europe and North America was opened up, and it, it, it was uh, the pizza connection, much like the French connection of the decade decades before, uh, where the, the French and Corsican Mafia routed large amounts of heroin through Corsica and central central Mediterranean with help of the Italians, ironically. The pizza connection uh, was linked into here as well. Um, and again, Salvatore Reno, not only was he trying to take control of the Sicilian Mafia, he was also trying to make as much money as possible in North America, and he actually mur was uh, implicated with a lot of murders in North America as well of uh, associates. And it, just, it wasn't just the Italian community in North America. So this, this wide-ranging trial was the largest trial ever seen, remains the largest trial in history, and it actually led to the death of the two main magistrates. Not only was a, a chief anti-terror officer murdered before the trial, 
Giovanni Falcone and Paolo Borsellino were both blown up with bombs. Uh, Falcone and his convoy were blown up on the motorway outside Palermo Airport, and I've been over that motorway bridge. Uh, they blew the bridge up with money, literally. You think of GTA, those those computer games like that? Yeah, that actually did actually happen. They they blew the motorway bridge up with his armoured convoy on it. Um, Borsellino was also murdered, but less publicly. Um, but the revulsion against the murders of these two high-ranking legal officials uh, in Italy and across the wider world led to further crackdowns against the Mafia. Uh, the Sicilian Mafia is not in the same position it was 25, 30 years ago because of this, and other groups like the Indrangheta have, also from southern Italy, have become more powerful. Um, but this second Mafia war wasn't the only Mafia war we've had in Italy and in Europe. Um, there is the Indrangheta San Luca feud, which is ongoing, which led to murders in Jersburg in Germany in 2007, which I remember. Uh, it also has links to the Melbourne gangland killings uh, of the previous two decades in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, there's also links to um, Mafia hiding out in London. Uh, there's been a few of them over here in the UK. And of course, across the Atlantic in America, there's been many indictments over the last 30 years that have led to many, many world-class films. Uh, Goodfellas and Ronnie Brasco are both linked, ironically. Made by different people. But the irony is, the groups that are involved in this the Mafia groups involved are linked. Um, and Black Mass also has links because the FBI were involved in that as well, in a cover-up. But there's a brief look at the Maxi trial of 86 to 92. Uh, 360 convictions. That's that's not bad, considering a trial of about 475 defendants, some of whom became state's evidence to save their own skins or get lesser sentences. Uh, but if it wasn't for Tommaso Buscetta, who had already lost... Um, relatives and friends, and even when he was giving, you know, his 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 uh, statements in court, Salvatore Rina and others were murdering more of his friends and family. So he realised the white writing was on the wall. Uh, had he not given himself up, he was hiding in Brazil and had been in Brazil for several years because he had also escaped from prison. Hence why they recaptured him. But there we go. A uh, brief look at the Maxi trial. The actual in depth of it, they had to build a special bunker in Palermo courthouse. They basically turned um, the courthouse and the, the, the small holding prison there, which is just a general you know, magistrate's court, into a small fortress that basically that we had not seen concrete of that size and bunkers of that size since the Second World War and the Atlantic War under Nazi Germany. Well, that is how serious the Italian authorities were taking this trial. They had blast-proof doors, they, they had machine gun nests, they had anti-aircraft guns. Literally, it was like a Bond villain's master base, but that is how seriously the Italian authorities in Sicily took this trial. And there are still ongoing indictments coming out of this today. Because of the information that was given by Buscetta and others, more indictments are coming today. And it also meant that the Italian judiciary and, and, the, and the wider legal system had to acknowledge the mafia's existence. Um, it's a, I've simplified it a hell of a lot. Uh, there's a lot actually in this. This is a six year court case with many appeals processes. Um, and of course, assassinations in there as well. You couldn't make this up. But so there we go. A brief look at the Mac trial and how it has shaped not only modern Italian uh, social, social, you know, issues in modern Italy, but across the Atlantic, it has led to many indictments of organised crime, um, not just Italians, but other groups as well. Um, it seems to me all these organised crime groups are very, very linked. Um, yeah, but Salvatore Reno was the guy who kicked this all off with his his mafia war. But it ended up you know, exposing the heroin trade in the US. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place your thoughts below. And of course, I can go into more depth on each individual uh, mafioso who was uh, at this trial, who was found guilty. And we can look at some of their some of their interesting things that they got up to. Um, also, Goodfellas and Donnie Brasco. Two brilliant films, uh, Black Mass, another brilliant film. I suggest you watch them. Um, Goodfellas is probably one of the best films ever made. Um, and it is pretty much a true story, although Joe Pesci's character is an amalgamation of a couple of, uh, of real life figures. The guy he's actually going to be playing is going to be six foot five, six foot six, big, big meathead. And Joe Pesci is like, what, lucky if he's five two. So there's a bit of irony there. But check them out. They are good films. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll have some more videos for you soon.